The effort to find a cure for cancer has long been known as the war on cancer. Our allies, our body cells. The enemy, the cancer cells. Our weapons, surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Imagine the cancer as a city under siege. We can attack it, but it has strong defenses. So what can we do to make our attacks more effective? There's a saying that an army marches on its stomach, and a city under siege can't last long without food and water. Starving the cancer won't work, though, because our cells need food, too. But we can attack. It's metabolism. Metabolism is the process by which our bodies make energy from the food we eat. Our cells use that energy to grow and survive. Cancer cells have metabolism, too. But that metabolism is supercharged. Imagine an enemy army stealing rations from your soldiers and using them a hundred times more effectively. The tumors grow and spread alarmingly fast. They also repair themselves when damaged, allowing them to survive when a normal cell might die. Doing that takes energy. And to fuel it, the cancer cells pump up their metabolism. These are the things that make cancer so dangerous and so difficult to treat. But what if we could find a way to shut down cancer's supercharged metabolism? It wouldn't have enough energy to grow or spread or protect itself, and we would have a better chance at fighting it. That means less radiation, less chemotherapy, and fewer side effects for patients. So what makes them supercharged? I study a cancer called chronic lymphocytic leukemia. It's the most common adult leukemia in North America, with thousands of new diagnoses each year. In those leukemia cells is a protein called FGR. Proteins are the worker molecules in cells. They provide structure, break down food, and relay messages that tell the cells if and when they should move or grow or even die. They have a lot of power. The normal healthy blood cells don't have FGR. So what is it telling the cancer cells to do? What I found is that FGR contributes to that supercharged metabolism that makes the leukemia so strong. By allowing them to create extra energy, it supports that growth and treatment resistance that make cancer so frightening and harmful. But FGR isn't only in leukemia. It's also been found in cells from brain, ovarian, prostate, and lung cancer. Targeting FGR could be the key we need to shutting down cancer's supercharged metabolism, thereby weakening cancer's defenses. Our weapons are in place. The cancer is under siege. This could be the advantage we need to win the war. Thank you.